What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about how to make a bitch regret ghosting you instantly. Like instant. She ghosted you. Now she's like, oh my god, no, I need, I need, I need, I need him. You know, you want, I mean, I don't know if you want that, but because I'm like, why is the bitch ghosting you? That, that, that's the first thing I'm wondering about. But anyways, so maybe you're dating her, it's going good, and out of the blue, poof, she disappears. And you're like, yo, what happened? And you know, when ghosting happens, it's, it's tough, especially if you like the bitch because you're like, wait, did I do something wrong? Uh, was I supposed to take her out more? Like, uh, was I supposed to call more? You're gonna start wondering what you didn't do or what you did wrong when most of the time it has nothing to do with you. It's just the bitch be bitching. That, that, yeah, that's, that's what they'll be doing. But today, I'm gonna tell you what to do to make her regret ghosting you and then she's gonna be like, please, please, can I come back? And then you do what you do. If I was you, I would be like, no bitch, there is no coming back. But I know some of you might really like the girl and you might be like, okay, all right, come back, bitch. It's okay. So, all right. Before we start, I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash So if you guys want to go check me over there, you can. There is um, a way where you can talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on a video call or you can text me. You can see more pictures, more videos, all of that. Please and thank you. All right, let's go. What you need to do for the bitch to come back crawling? Yes. Number one, you got to use her ghosting you as a motivation to become successful. You might be hurt and shit. I get it because you really like the bitch. But now it's time for you to use that hurt and that energy, that anger, maybe because maybe you're angry, to focus that, to redirect that energy to yourself and refocus yourself and work on yourself and go and accomplish your goals. Because you know, I tell you all the time, once you are successful, there is no bitch that will not want you. Because women want men who look successful. It, it looks good. It, it, you look confident. You look like you got money. You look like you got shit going on. They're not gonna wanna miss out on this. So go work on yourself. And then it's a win-win because you, you get better. You got more bread. You're looking sharper, all that shit. And then now the bitch are just coming without you making an effort. You only worked on yourself. It's a win-win. You gotta use that anger and that energy that's kind of like negative at the moment because you know you're hurt and redirect it to something positive that will improve your life. Use it to grind even harder. You know, like you be like, oh, you don't want me? Oh, you silly hoe. You think you can find somebody better than me? Oh, you crazy. You know, I, I know, I've been talking to myself. I don't know if that's something that might work for you, but you need to get yourself up. Like, bitch, what? Like, when a dude don't want me, I look at myself and I'm like, you don't want me? I, me. <laughs> you know, I be cracking myself up by myself. But, um, but yeah, you gotta gas yourself up and like use that as like a, a catalyst. I don't know if that's the word, but we're gonna use it to like boost yourself and be like, okay, let me pick myself back up and put all that energy into me, into me because I'm the shit, you know? Kind of like be like, I know you don't have to go that far, but you're going to be like, I'm going to show you, bitch. You didn't want me. I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that's for sure is going to happen is when you accomplish goals, it makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you feel more confident and therefore you're going to look more attractive. Number two, give her the brush off if you see her in public. I'm telling you, ghosters, like if we want to call them like this, or bitches, they love thinking that you're still thinking about them. They love that shit. So I would say don't even go to her IG because you know they have some, some apps where they would know like that you're kind of like creeping on their, on their profile. Also, if you see her in person, I'm not saying be rude and don't say hi, but you can just brush her off and be like, hey, what's up? And you keep it moving because they love to know that you know, you're still thinking about them, that you still want them and all that shit. But me, if I see you out, I'd be like, hey, what's up? I'm not going to go out of my way to make sure you saw me. No, no, no. You're going to see me because you're going to see me. And I'd be like, hey, what's up? And don't try to come and give hugs or nothing. No. What's up? You're a regular bitch at this point. Like, I don't want you. I don't need you. We're good. What's up? And you keep it moving. And then, of course, if it's at a party, obviously, you make sure like you're having a great time. You know, not even trying to make eye contact with her at all. 
She needs, she's a, she ghosted you. She's a ghost, right? Do you see Casper? No, we don't see Casper because Casper is invisible. So the bitch is invisible to you now. But she sees you. She sees you because, you know, the ghost sees the real people. So she's seeing you having a great time. Perfect. Have a great time. Because that's going to show her that you moved on and that what she did didn't even affect you. So she'd be like, oh, so you must have not liked me that much. Or maybe he already got a new bitch. Wait, maybe I missed something. Maybe, maybe. And, you know, confusion. The bitch wants you back now. So you can be a little mean if you want. Not mean, mean, but like, you know, if she tries to talk to you. And you can say something. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Uh, but, uh, but I gotta go. I I'll catch you another time. Don't even try to make fucking conversation. No, bitch, you don't get access to me no more. I'm good. Oh, another one that would kill her is, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot we went out. Oh, yeah, but I got to go. You, you have a good day, though. And you keep it moving. I know it's kind of asshole-ish, but bitches love assholes. Like, she ghosted you, so you don't owe her no niceness. Niceness, I guess. You don't owe her nothing. Or oh, a bad one, too. What's your name again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you have a good day, Emily. Like, that would kill them because that's going to make them feel like them ghosting you didn't even affect you. You didn't even realize you got ghosted because they were not important like that. That is the best. That's going to hurt her ego. And now she's going to come back around and feel like she has to show you that, uh, what are you talking about? No, you, you want me. Remember, you wanted me. We went out. No, bitch. I don't care. I have other bitches that want me and you, you didn't make a, an impression. Number three. You go live in abundance and you post it. I tell you all the time, IG is your friend. You guys be scared of IG, not putting any effort to look good on IG. You need to change that. Women are attracted to lifestyle. It's so important. So if you can portray a lifestyle, she's going to be like, wait, am I missing out on all of this? Am I, am I, am I? Like, again, the more the bitches is asking herself question, the more the bitch is, is, I can't talk. <laughs> the more the bitch is asking herself questions, the more she's going to be into you and the more she's going to be like, wait, I made a mistake, I think. I need to get back. Often, if you think about it, you don't even need to look attractive. You just got to uh, have something that shows that it's you're living in luxury, that you have abundance and all that shit. I'm not saying you got to go fake that you have hell of money. But you just gotta act like your life is not that hard, your life is, your life is pretty fun, and you can do whatever you want to do. Women just want to go have fun, I'm telling you, and use your money. A lot of them, that's what they want to do. So the minute they see like you have those type of qualities, they're like, oh, damn, I can't go see him. I need to call him. So yes, go try new things, go travel, go on adventures. Go out with your friends, like do a bunch of shit. Cause I don't want you to be sitting at home, like crying over a bitch that didn't even have the decency to tell you, yo, you know, I don't think me and you are going to work. You know, to me, that's, that's so trash. Like when I'm not, when I go on dates and I'm not into a guy, I, I will tell him if he wants to hang out again, I'll be like, you know, I just didn't feel the vibe. I might go on a second one just to make sure and see like if I'm really not feeling the vibe because maybe it wasn't a, maybe my head wasn't so much in the date when I went or maybe it was having a good day so the date wasn't great or whatever so I, I might give you another try we might go one more time but if I'm still not feeling it I might be like you know what um I just don't feel the romantic connection so you know I think it's okay you know that we just stop talking or you know it's just not gonna work for me i tell the people because i hate when people do it to me and i'm big on like don't do me something like you know the saying i i can't think of it but you know what i'm trying to do so i'm trying to be like to not be somebody that i would not want i cannot talk so i'm trying to i'm always not trying to do something that i don't want other people to do to me you know so if i'm not feeling you I may tell you I'm not feeling you and I hope you would have the decency to tell me you're not feeling me but a bunch of people will still be ghosting me but yes so the fact that she didn't have the decency to let you know yo I'm not feeling you she's just disappeared fuck this bitch now she's gonna find out through social media that she's missing out and at the same time because you're gonna be showing off you're gonna be attracting other women not just her others too I tell you all the time improve your life and the bitches will be coming number four 
Shoot your shot at bitches that are better looking than her. I know you might be nervous. You might think, oh, I can't get this bitch. Uh, you can get whoever the fuck you want. I'm telling you, it's it's a mindset. Like when you walk in and you're fucking confident and you go to the prettiest bitch and you're like, what's that baby? I'm not saying you go say that. But you know, just the confidence level needs to be there. That's for sure. Make sure you don't go date girls that are like maybe a four or a five. No, that's not what you're going for. If the bitch that ghosted you was a seven, now you need an eight and nine or a 10. Seven, maybe seven plus. But you're not dating lower. You're not dating six, four, five. Like, what are you doing? No, you gotta improve. She gotta feel like you were doing her a favor. You lowered your standard when you came to beauty and you were like, okay, I can talk to a seven. Usually I talk to eight, nine, ten, but today, okay, for you, I'll do a seven because I see you have other qualities. But now she sees you back with like a ten. She's like, how we got that? Yeah, bitch, because that's what I get usually on a regular. I was just doing you a favor. So once you get that new girl, you need to show her off. You need to be like, she, the ghoster, need to see that you got a harder girl than her. She's gonna lose it. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt her feelings, I'm telling you. That's a guarantee. And trust me, she's gonna hit you. She's gonna be like, hey, stranger. And you'll be like, no, bitch, I don't talk to you no more. Move on. I mean, I hope that's what you're gonna do, but some of you are still gonna allow her to come back. Number five, dress up when you go out. I know sometimes, you know, you wanna go outside with sweatpants and all. No, you gotta look the part, especially if you're trying to, to get those ten tens whatever you need to look the part you need to look your best at all time and that comes with grooming that comes with you know when you go you get your little like shape up line up whatever you be looking your best make sure your clothes look good too that they fit you that they're perfect on you so if you run into her she be like he wasn't dressing like this when he was with me or you know she's gonna be confused and if you don't run into her, well, you're going to run into other bitches that are going to look at you like, damn, I need him. Win-win for you. And then number six, practice self-care so you're feeling your best. So you already know, eat well, sleep well. You need to fucking sleep. It's not about hustle, hustle, no sleep, no, because your eyes are going to look crazy. Your skin is not going to look uh, its best. You got to take care of yourself. Go to the gym, meditate seek therapy, all, all that good stuff, like self-care, take care of yourself, go get a back massage, go to a spa, take care of yourself because once you're refreshed and you're feeling your best, that's when you're going to attract them bitches. And that's even when you're that bitch, when she's going to see you again, she's going to be like, he is glowing. What's going on? Does he has a new bitch? That's why he's glowing. Oh no, I need to come run his life again. Hopefully you don't let that bitch come back in, but that's how you're going to make her regret she might not come back but she would show regret it i'm telling you trust me so that's all i have for you guys today hopefully this was helpful hopefully again my advice if a bitch goes to you leave her alone like you don't need to go prove you can do all of these just for you to feel better and get better bitches next time you know but hopefully you leave that bitch alone that, that's that's my advice all right, so you can like, share, comment. You can uh, subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also follow me on Instagram at MediLoveXO, Monaco, Meli, what's the other one? Meli Motors. Yes, that's the core one. And I have the channel for the car reviews too. So maybe you want to check me out over there. Everything is in the description of this video. All right, I love you guys. And hopefully you didn't get ghosted because I know that shit hurts. It happens to me. I don't want to say pretty often, but it happens to me. <laughs> And, um, yes, fuck them bitches. Yes. All right. That's all. All right. You have a good day, guys. Love you.